today's devotional can be found in Jeremiah, chapter 12, verse 17. But if they will not obey, I will utterly pluck up and destroy that nation, saith the Lord. Alright, so, we are given every opportunity in the world and beyond this world to obey. The Lord asks things of us, not to seem controlling, but to seem to make it so that we have a choice. We have our agency to choose. He asks things of us, not to be forceful, but to remind us that we have a choice. But to also remind us that each choice does have a consequence, whether it be good or bad. Obedience to what the Lord asks of us brings about good consequences and learning and growth and being able to feel the spirit and look beyond our natural carnal selves and see our true potential. Disobedience leads us to not be able to have the spirit within us because if we're disobedient we're basically closing our hearts to being taught and the spirit cannot dwell in an unteachable heart sad as it may be it can't because it doesn't feel safe there the spirit feels safe where it can teach and reassure and comfort And anyway, disobedience leaves us in the darkness of ignorance and we are, and Satan puts it into our mindset that ignorance is bliss and that we're better off not knowing things that are difficult but that may be worth our time. But of course Satan doesn't want us to know that. And woe to those who disobey and, like, don't repent when they know they can. Because the Lord, I mean, the Lord will give every opportunity for people to abandon their carnal selves, their disobedient natures, and their plain wickedness. The Lord gives every single opportunity for people to turn their lives around. That they might be able to experience the highest degree of the fullness of happiness and joy. And I mean, we obey things that we might be able to understand exactly what the, that fullness of the highest degree is. I mean, each of us, because of the atonement, will have immortality, salvation, and eternal life. The level of happiness we can receive from those three things depends on what we're willing to learn, understand, and do according to what the Lord asks of us. See, faithfulness and obedience play a great part in our eternal destination because we need faith and obedience to be able to do what the Lord asks of us in terms of preparation like he asks us he invites us to be baptized after having faith and repenting according to how we are asked to and and then receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost after baptism and then there are other sacred temple ordinances the, that we are invited to participate in that may help that will help us to be able to someday access that higher degree of e that highest degree of eternal glory not just by ourselves but with our families but it all starts with be having faith and obedience to accept the Lord's invitation. He makes the invitation freely. 
But if we don't accept the Lord's invitation freely, if we don't obey that call, we are, we are not only destro risking destroying ourselves, we are risking destroying our families and generations. I mean, sure, there will be other chances if we don't start with ourselves and our families. People can do work for us and others in the temple by a proxy, but it'll be harder. Heavenly Father made the plan of salvation, and Jesus Christ made or did the whole atonement so that we could have mortal experiences that would help prepare us for the best eternity that we could have. And we shouldn't be afraid to obey those, those invitations that we have to come unto the Lord. We really shouldn't be, because they will bring us happiness. So we've got two choices. We can either obey and start on a path of temporal and eternal happiness, or we can disobey and risk destroying not only ourselves, but others. It's up, it's up to each one of us what we choose to do. But we can't, like, be in the middle. We have to make a decision. I mean, repentance is possible, but it can be very difficult. But thanks to the atonement, we can we can repent, but it's so much easier to make the right decision the first time, and the atonement can give us strength to be able to stay on our decision, even when things get tough. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.